Good morning, Algebra class. Um, it's Wednesday, March 25th, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about inverse functions. It's a section that I assigned, um, and uh, you were supposed to go through the McGraw-Hill presentation. But based on some of the feedback I've been getting, either the McGraw-Hill presentation didn't cut it for you, or you just didn't watch them. So I'm going to do a couple of examples so that you'll have more success with that section. Um, let's see. Well, I'll do Pinterest first, though. How about that? Pinterest. First time in history we can save the human race by lying in front of the TV and doing nothing. Let's not screw this up. <laughs> Agenda for the day. Let the dogs in. Let the dogs out. Let the dogs in. Let the dogs out. Let the do <laughs> yeah, I have three dogs, and this happens all day long. How it feels waking up every morning in 2020? Damage report. Do you guys watch um, the governor's talks every day? Yeah. Author, I was born on my birthday. English teachers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I never understood English teachers. Um, well, it's time to change from my daytime pajamas to my nighttime pajamas. Now, that's pretty much the story of my week there. All right, so in inverse functions, an inverse function, I did post a really good Khan Academy video um, on your uh, Google Classroom that you might want to check out. Um, I'll try to explain it as best I can in short and sweet here. Um, an inverse function is basically with a regular function, if you put a 1 in, you get an 8 out. If you put a 2 in, you get a 6 out. The inverse function means if you put an 8 in, you get a 1 out. If you put a 6 in, you get a 2 out. <clears throat> so what we do it, it, in a situation like this, you're just looking for the reverse. Okay, you're looking for the answer that has the points 8, 1, 6, 2, 4, 3, 2, 4, and 0, 5. I believe that B is the only correct answer here because the, each one of these points is reversed. Okay. Um, same thing here. You're looking for an answer that gives you the reverse of each of these. So you're looking for the answer with 2, negative 3, 8, negative 1, 14, 1, and 23. Looks like maybe B might be the right one. On question 10, this one is asking you to find the graph that shows the inverse of this line. Well, when we have find an inverse of a line like this, what we do, let me switch to pen here so I can show you what I'm talking about. What we have to realize is that the inverse is a reflection of this line over the y equals x line. Well, this would be the y equals x line here. Which one of these shows a second line which would be the reflection of this over that line? So it's going to go something like this is what we're looking for because it would be that line reflected over x equals y. Clearly this is the correct one. Okay. All right. Here's where it gets fun. This is the part I really like. <laughs> Find the inverse of the function. Now here are the steps for inverting a function written in function notation. The first thing you want to do is you want to replace f of x with y. Okay? And in order to find the inverse, we need to solve for x, solve for the other variable. Well, the first thing we would do is add 5 to both sides. That gives me y plus 5 equals 8x. Now to get x by itself, we divide both sides by 8. So we really have our answer now. Inverse function notation is, is f to the power of negative 1, and then you put x in the, in the parentheses. All right, that is this part right here. That's that. Now, when you go to write this in the final step, you'll need to change y to x. And there's a big, great explanation for that, but the Khan Academy guy explains it really well. And so that's your answer. And it looks like... Is that the same? Yep. This would be... This is the winner right here. Okay. I'll do a couple more of those. I like, I like fractions, so this one's super fun. Uh, replacing f of x with y. 3 fourths x plus 9. 
we want to solve for x, so we subtract 9 first. y minus 9 equals 3 fourths x. And divide both sides by 3 fourths. Dividing by 3 fourths is the same as multiplying by 4 thirds. So these cancel, leaving us with just x on the one side. But over here, we have multiplied by 4 thirds y minus 9. We change this to f negative 1 x. Sorry, my pen's not working great. And remember, change that y back to an x. 4 thirds x minus 9 is the solution. Right? 4 thirds x minus 9. Winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. And this is my last example for today. I really like this one because it's one of those horrific looking fraction thingies. Love doing these. We have, we replace f of x with y. First thing we're going to need to do here is we've got to clear this fraction. So we're going to have to multiply both sides by 4. Then we subtract 5 from both sides. 4y minus 5 equals 3x. And then we have to divide both sides by 3. And we're where we want to be here. Sorry, this pen is really hard to write with. My handwriting has not gone downhill this bad. And then we would have changed the y back to the x. And there you go. So 4x minus 5 over 3. There you have it. If you have any questions, I'm online all day. You can email me or message me in Google Classroom. And um, that's it for today. Have a great Wednesday, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.